Welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. In this video, I will explain SAS certification topic number three. How we can able to create a new data set from existing data set using SAS with the help of data step method. So let's get started. Okay, now I just open my SAS studio. I'm running it like a, I'm just writing a small program by using this uh, SAS studio. Let me just write data. I'm just writing my data set name. I can write my data set name anything. I'll go for data set name as a demo and semicolon. And I'm just writing it another statement here saying it import. In the input, I'm just specifying my variables like a name is one variable. So the name variable I'm writing it as a dollar sign because it's a character data and another variable I'm writing it here age and another variable I'm writing it sex. So sex also I need to mention it's a dollar sign semicolon. Now I need to write a statement called cards so that I'm just writing it here so that you can able to create a rows into SAS. The rows are name I'm writing it it's a Ramesh Ramesh age of the person maybe just imagine 50 and sex of the person is male and I'm writing another John uh, I'm just writing this guy with uh, 66 years or something like that so person is male I'm writing another name is called Sheila so I'm writing it so she is just 45 years old so she is female I'm writing a semicolon here and I'm writing a statement called run so what happened this so this is just a data step method is used to create a data set so how I can able to create a data set so first I need to select this particular program and use a running boy like a symbol once you click on it so the data set will be get created go to your libraries and go to your libraries mainly work library so the demo data set is just got created right now so there you have name Ramesh John and Sheila and with respecting to age and as well as sex information also available so this is just I created one data set right now so now what I can do is I can directly create a new data set from this particular demo data set I no need to repeat this particular step of demo and all so what I can do is directly I can write it uh, data I'm writing my new data set name I will write it as a new is a my new data set name I'm writing it so I can write it anything like a new underscore demo also data set is possible I can able to write it so I'm writing it set so set is the concept we use regularly in our real time so by using a set we can copy the information from the existing data set and you can create a new data set if you want it so you see that so the data set is available as we already created a demo data set earlier in our work library I will select that and semicolon and run so what happen if I do this I'm just creating a new data set with name with the name um, a name as a new underscore demo if I run the program so there will be a one more data set created using this particular a data step method so as called as a new underscore demo right now if you see another data set that means the same information you copied into another in another data set without writing any input statement card statement or anything I just used a set concept so that no you can copy the information or else while copying it if you think that only mails information to be copied into my new data set so then I can copy the same program again so I'll do a small changes here in my next program you see I'm just copying all the information from demo but I don't want all the information from demo I need it only mails information then I can write it uh, where so within a where condition I can write it uh, write a bracket uh, within the bracket you just write it uh, sex equal to if you write it uh, quotations uh, F or else maybe M you need it only mails information you need it so now if you run this particular program and execute it uh, you can see in your log also only two observations is got copied that means from the existing data set of my 
demo that is your demo data set uh, we have all the observations but in new underscore demo data set when you see it uh, so you have it only mail information wherever it is only that information just got copied we just close this one and reopen the new underscore demo data set there you can see only Ramesh and John information we have it we don't have any Sheila information here so because while copying it you can restrict it so not only that we can keep the variables also sometimes while copying a data set from existing data you don't want all the variables to be keeping it so you uh, you want particular variables to be dropped so if you want to drop any variable in SAS so while copying it you can write a data a new data set name anything I can write it I'll go for LL set I'm copying a information from my demo data set I'll directly copy it because in my demo data set I have all the observations present but this time I don't want all the variables to be copied so I'm just dropping it I don't want uh, the sex variable to be uh, in my new data set so that I can write directly write drop equal to I'm writing a sex so that no I'm immediately dropping the variable of your sex not to copy into your new LL data set if I run the program execute it now so new data set will be get created so you just go there and go to log log three observations containing a data is got created so there is no problem for the observations all the three observations containing a data is ready but only two variables is got copied you just open and see your new data set we have only here that is a new data set what I have created just now LL so try to open the LL right now and you can able to see only name and age sex variable is not there that means while copying itself you just dropped it so you can do that also and apart from that you can write a rename also suppose imagine while copying a information from the existing data set if you want to rename your variables to some other name so imagine uh, sex is the variable I just have it in my demo data set while creating it but instead of sex I want to change it as a gender so while copying itself I can do that also let's see data your data set name I'm just writing it here with the name of some KK or something like that set your copying information from existing data set of your demo but what happened I don't want the sex variable to be as it is as a sex so I'm just renaming it to rename it you have to open the brackets you write a statement called rename so within a rename statement again you need to open one more bracket and saying it uh, you want to replace as a sex as a gender so you can make it sex as a gender and I'm writing it semicolon and run statement so that I'm trying to create a new data set name with the name of KK but this data set will have three variables of your name age and instead of sex you will have a name as a gender you want to check it you can check that also you can see name is one variable age is one variable gender is the new variable got created that means you can able to create a new data set also sorry new variables also from the existing data set it's possible so this is all about this topic how to create a new data set from the existing data set by using a set options we can do it so that's all about for uh, in this video so I'll meet you in the next video so if you are watching this video for a first time please be subscribed to my channel and if you like this particular video just hit the like button or else if you have any comments or questions to me you can write it in the comment section below so that I'll reply back to you so thank you for watching